Let's take a look at what determines the width of a confidence interval. Recall that every confidence interval has the following form. Our estimate for the population parameter that we are estimating, plus or minus a critical value, which will either usually be a normal critical value, z star, or a t critical value from a t distribution, t star. And then we multiply either by the standard deviation of the estimate or the standard error, depending on whether we know the population standard deviation or not. Let's talk about which of these parts of the confidence interval control the width of a confidence interval. First, let's take a look at our estimate. Can we do anything about our estimate? We have our population, we draw a sample from our population, and we get an estimate for our population parameter. We can't do anything about our estimate. And the estimate is the center of our confidence interval and does not control the width of our confidence interval. The width is determined by our margin of error. The margin of error determines the width of the confidence interval. Let's first take a look at the critical value. Does changing the critical value change the width of our confidence interval? Down below, we have either a normal distribution or a t distribution. If we are looking at a c percent confidence interval, we need c percent of the area in the central part of the distribution. The two values are our critical values. If we want to make a smaller confidence interval, what do we have to do to this area c? We have to decrease the area of c to get a smaller confidence interval. Why does that make a smaller confidence interval? If we decrease C, our critical values are going to move to these new locations, which are less than the critical value originally. So decreasing our level of confidence will decrease the width of our confidence interval. Now let's take the standard error of our estimates. Let's first consider the confidence interval from u when sigma is known. The standard deviation of our estimate x bar is given by sigma over the square root of n. Can we do anything about sigma? Sigma is not a variable. It does not change. It is a fixed number. But we could change the number of observations we select for our sample. If we increase our sample size, we will decrease the width of our confidence interval. Let's consider the confidence interval from u when sigma is unknown. The standard error of our, error of our estimate x bar is given by the sample standard deviation s divided by the square root of n. Again, increasing our sample size n will decrease the width of our confidence interval. And now last, let's consider the confidence interval for p, the population proportion p. The standard error for our estimate is given by the square root of p hat times the quantity 1 minus p hat divided by n. Once again, if we increase the sample size, we will decrease the width of our confidence interval. So in summary, how can we shorten a confidence interval? One way to shorten the confidence interval is to decrease the confidence level. A second thing that you can do is you can increase the sample size. So the two main things to determine and you can sort of control in terms of the width of a confidence interval are the confidence level and the sample size.